It has been raining a lot. Yesterday it rained massively here with us and it is still raining today. So I thought we go in the garden and have a look and see how the water is uh, distributing or not distributing. <laughs> because water is one of the most important things in permaculture. There are two ways you can deal with water. You um, make it sink into the ground and store it in the ground or you collect it and store it in containers or ponds or some sort of structure. And where we live, we have clay and I'm hesitant to start um, constructing too much. And this is also because we have a relatively small area we don't really have the space to make like large swales and key line systems and all this. Um, so we haven't really done much with the water situation. It's just like it is. So we'll head out and uh, have a look now. So this is basically the front of our house and the entrance to the garden. It's all... Uh, soaking wet and it's like it's it's so, sort of soggy you can't really see it and here you can see the the soil or the clay that we have um so this is what we're working with and this is the leftover um tiles i guess the leftover tiles from the um, construction we did here uh, and here the water is piling uh, i guess this is uh, something we have done wrong and also here we have the water piling up it's not a lot of water and i'm kind of happy that it's at least we got the um, the angle right so it's not uh piling up against the the um, the house or the garage here it's piling on the other side we did put in irrigation but it's kind of slow to sink in we see the water is coming out through this uh, thing here we have planted new grass here so hopefully it will all um, look nice next year when i'm stepping on the ground here it's like I can feel that it's it's saturated, but it is not like uh, overflowing anywhere and it's not piling up anywhere except on the thing that we constructed here in the greenhouse. Um, we have the last of the tomatoes still and in here it is quite dry so I actually have to water here. And we're going down to the other part. I don't know if you can hear the soggy noise when I'm walking. But I think we're good. It's not like it's not like the water is piling up anywhere. I don't know if you can see it. It's like the water is kind of kind of <laughs> yeah, you can see the water coming out when I push my uh, boots down. So the ground is definitely saturated as it is now, but so far we're not having any major issues. I'm actually quite happy. Uh, well, uh, at least we don't have any major issues. Uh, we don't have anything flowing over. Uh, so that's good. And then we have to see uh, if we can sort of um, lead the water a little bit better because now it's just flowing naturally we haven't done anything to at least on purpose <laughs> we haven't done anything on purpose to steer or make the water flow in a specific way uh, i guess that's it for today and thank you for watching and uh, do subscribe if you want to see how this place is developing